यही चड्डी पहन के कल रात को भूल खिला था एक दिन पीछे से भटी हो गई So it always gives me great pleasure to be in conversation with successful Gujaratis not just in Gujarati cinema but also those who have broken the barriers into the mainstream and have also embraced their roots back and one such wonderful uh talent uh, well two such wonderful talents is of course Sachin Jigar so huge welcome to you on Filmi Shilmi and congratulations on the music of Bheria Thank you so much thank you so much means a hey, lot Thank you you are pleasure to be here with you Oh it's it's honestly my pleasure. I mean look so Bheria is releasing this week and uh I think the music has definitely created a a tehelka I think on on the internet. I mean Tunkeshwari is such a bop. I mean firstly when it comes to making these catchy songs I feel like you guys definitely have managed to get the gist of it. So given the fact that you actually worked creating jingles at your earlier stages of your career as music people do you think that's what's really helped you to create these very peppy numbers as well? See creating a soundtrack for a film is a completely different ball game because uh, when you're doing jingles you got to sell your product in 30 seconds. You know that's all you have. but here what you do is you got to make a jingle and then make sure it doesn't sound like a jingle it sounds like a song so it's even more challenging but yes uh, i think uh, our journey through uh, tv serials through theater through our time at arranging then doing jingles and then uh, doing films i think all of it contributes to whatever little we know about uh, uh, creating a fun song by now because you know also one very important thing which everyone who is listening and who wants to become a composer must know is when you are trying to make a dance song or a fun song you're going to go wrong mostly wrong so let those cancellations happen in the studio go wrong in the studio and then when that one song comes make sure you don't let it go oh wow wonderful i mean sachin did you want to add anything to that about you know creating these very peppy songs so i think only thing i can really add to what jigas already said anuj is that for films like bhedia or for films like stree getting these songs that is that much more important because it's part of the communication we want to do as makers that you are not only coming to the cinema for the horror or for the thrill you are also going to get entertained yeah right and which is why this song already sets a sort of a tone for the audience for 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 warming them up into the right groove for the film because you know as jona bhedia is a creature comedy as a jona three was a horror comedy so uh, it's not just it's not like making a dance song for a regular you know regular um, hindi flick wherein there is one song that you know you want to dance on it's it's got it's it's got more functionality to perform so mm-hmm. uh, and having said all this technical thing i can tell you that <laughs> i mean after all you got to make a crazy ass song <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I think when it comes to um like you said such in and Jigar both, uh, when it comes to films like Bhedia and Stri which are essentially horror, it's not your stereotypical commercial music. How do you find that fine balance action? I know you probably just mentioned it, but I wanted to get more insight. How do you balance that commerciality of of the product you're trying to sell versus the the story that's being told? See, um Okay, very interesting, and I'll tell you when Sachin Jigar has become a part of a film that rides high on concept. Yeah. You know, it is when we have performed our best because it 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 gives us a challenge. It it asks us to, uh, you know, give it all. Um, also, also these films uh are more, a uh, more of a music composers uh. you know a delight i i would say that like when we did if it is a generic film when people are moving around dancing around singing love songs i don't think it really excites us much because because then there is no there is no perspective to it you know this song could have been in this film or that film or that film or that film hmm. but uh, when we are making music for films that are really exciting and that are really you know uh, high on concept like i'll give you example of go go gone yeah Uh, or i can go back to faltu uh, which was about these boys who failed in the college and then you know or or then we can come to happy ending uh if, or uh, abcd which was the first india's uh, india's first dance film mm. and uh, lately three and now bhedia you know so 
we've been very very lucky to get these films and there uh, also when we are making dance songs or love songs for these films mm. you know we've been asked that okay you know milegi milegi is a dance song but it feels like a dance song from stree mm. or uh, aao kabhi haveli pe is a dance song but feels like a dance song from stree uh, and i really feel that that song might not fit any other film because there are lots of events from the film that have been taken and made into a song similarly when you watch bedia you will see that actual events of the film are getting translated in a way or the other to the song so the idea is to take the horror and have fun with it you know mm-hmm. like how the film itself is doing taking the horror but uh, treating it with a uh, with a smile and it's going to tickle your funny bones mm-hmm. and uh, uh in these times when we are on social media i don't think that anything in its very pure form uh it's very very difficult for a very very purest kind of music to break through yeah. because we have now gotten used to a lot of bhel puri even mm-hmm. in the west we are trying to see we are seeing lots of melodies uh good melodies getting uh, you know infused with a rock beat or like a uh like maybe a drum and bass you know all those although they were simple melodies to so with a film like this we can do all of that you know we can take one genre fuse it into the other mm. and uh, and that is where our theater comes in you know we can take events from the from our narration or from the script and make fun stuff around it Yeah. and and then it goes into the film without much of a uh, a much of a uh, a screenplay disturbance so maybe this is our learning from theater or uh, mm-hmm. or just the keda that we have in you know so we take lots of narrations to pull out stuff that we can very well sir thank you so much for that jigar and i think just to sort of take that onwards you know that how you mentioned that it has to even though it's a dance song it has to sound like as if it's from that film and i think one thing that i can take away is from yours and i think even amit's sort of music as well that that i really find is that they are of course very fresh there's a refreshness that you both you all all of you as composers sort of bring but there's also a sense of quirkiness like there's a there's a slight quirky feel to your music which perhaps we've never had before but yet it's very youthful so i think sachin um I I think uh, really because I feel do feel sometimes art is an extension of our personalities. Uh would you say that you also feel quite young at heart and you also are quite quirky in certain places? Do you think that's what really seeps into your music as well? Yeah, you know, ours is a combination. So uh, when Jigar's uh, you know, when Jigar's being serious and all disciplined and working very hard and worried about our next hit or worried about the our last hit song i am going to push him i am going to take him out for a vada pav uh, treat or i am going to take him to play cricket with me or something and if i am uh, neck deep in work and i am lost and he tell me chal uh, you know khana khana jana hai kya whatever it is just I, i just feel this merit in the combination um, and that combination itself is a very quirky combination because as people me and jigar are completely different people hmm. we have different set of friends we have different you know set of playlists we play in our cars everything about us is quite different except for the song we are making we are making one song and you see um after all this is original music right after all we are creating something from zero mm. which is why there is a chance to make something youthful which is why there is a chance to make something fresh because we are not following that school ki jahan char romantic gaane stock mein pade hue hain char dance gaane stock mein pade hue hain aur एक उठा के चिपकाना it's uh, i can just only tell you this you can always expect a surprise at such a nigga studio something yeah, is happening definitely. no definitely no i think that's that's very true and i think that's that's interesting how you mentioned this dynamics because i often wonder uh because we have so many amazing um 
you know, musical duos. I mean, back from the 90s, if we look back, you know, we had, of course, Nadeem Shavan, um, you know, uh, Sandeep Roshan as well. You know, so many amazing composers that we've had. And I think it's it's quite interesting how you both as, as, as composers, as different mindsets, you know, have had, um, you know, have that sort of understanding. But is there a time when things get quite heated between you? And, how, you know, I think, so what helps you to kind of go back? I know you kind of mentioned that you take him for a varapao and, and, and cricket, but what actually helps you to come back to focus, actually, when times get a little bit heated? Mm, so, you know, uh, okay, so we are two different minds working on one same song. So that is, that is, the most important thing about about uh, about song making at at our studio and in fact let me extend this whenever we are making a song we have the great thing about us is that we will have ideas in abundance yeah okay and then to you know and it's not that uh, and when we have so many ideas we have to discourage some of them okay and we have to let go of some of them so now what we've realized over the period of time that we put all our ideas onto the machine, keep it for a day, come back next day and mm. uh, hear it uh, as if the song is the baby and uh, we are just serving food and what is the most healthiest for the baby. Right. And uh, as parents, we have to let go of uh, chocolate sometimes because uh, it's not going to help the baby Yeah. and uh, give them apple instead. So we, we we need to know for ourselves what's good and what's not. And I think that's where uh, the sanity of the two of us comes in, that we are not egoistic people uh, when it comes to music or otherwise in life. And uh, it's not important whose idea is eventually going in the song uh, because the song that comes out is the reflection of the two of us, you know. Yeah. So if one has given the idea and the other has accepted it, it, it is as important as giving the idea itself. So, mm-hmm. and sometimes uh, maybe not doing anything is an idea itself. So we, we have kind of opened it up so much that uh, everything's for the song and for the film. And uh, yes, as far as what's coming out is pleasing us, uh, we are good. Right. We're happy. Wonderful. And I think, like I told you, I think just before we started the interview is how uh, I appreciate the fact that, you know, you have embraced your Gujarati roots, I think, since day one. I think our composition was, I think, technically was Life Partner, right? Was Gunji Ang Name Shainai. That was like one of your initial ones. I wouldn't yeah. say the first one, but one of your initial ones. And again, I was a huge chart buster back in the day. And I remember how popular it really became. Um. So how important has it to actually, I think, for you to, you know, bring out that Gujaratiness uh, within you, I think, through your music also? It truly, I know. I think it's it's purely payback sort of a uh, emotion there. We gained so much from our folk. You know, motor thada, there is fiber. You know, there no function. You know, gotrej hoy to patana gata hoy ke garbo gata hoy. I think you know. Also, there is a big function of like how misrepresented our Gujarati folk is at a world level. That has also triggered us. That yeah. people think hey, are Gujarati chan, chal garbo, hey, hello, you know, and, and they even almost make fun of us. Caricature, yeah. Hey, but at least typical and that really hit me. I was in New York. Uh, um, my friend uh, told me, ke, oh, so you're making Gujarati music, so you may, you'll be making a lot of garbas. And that really hit me. I think if my my best friend thinks so, that I'd rather change, should be the people who change the way people look at Gujarati music. There's so much more to our folk, to our literature, to our poetry. So it's payback time. We've literally gained everything we've gained from uh, sort of, you know, society performances and small performances in Navratri around uh, as kids, as growing up, you know. And and that has literally been our start. Been, that is exactly where we started from. And that's flows in our veins. So if you see that there is the e Gujarati chart on our Hindi, Hindi of Mahapad Najar House, Saibo Najar House, Kirangjo Lagyo. So there are, so we try and, you know, every time there's a situation, I, I'm in my head, I'm first composing in Gujarati. Oh, and nice. then we'll figure out a parallel. Yeah. So, uh, so 
ઘરની પાછળ ઉંબરો 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 ઉંબરા પાછળ ડુંગરો ડુંગરો દેટ બીકેમ એના પોડા રાસકલા રાસકલા યાર મે રિચલ દારૂ પેલા સો ઇવન ચુનર ફોર ધેટ મેટર વોઝ થોટ ઓફ થોડો ધેટ સોંગ ઇન ગુજરાતી ફર્સ્ટ માડી તારી ચુંદરાતી yeah oh beautifully put yeah no absolutely and it's it's wonderful i have noticed that uh, the way you adapt and sort of uh, use uh, traditional songs as a, as a as a as a hook you know i think in a way for to sort of build on that and i think that's amazing you know i think that's very well utilized and it's very interesting as well because we were talking about um recreations and fresh music and i know you all have been a part of a few recreations like in street dance there were so many popular songs which were recreated now remixes i mean i believe that remixes actually are not bad uh, as, as long as they don't you know completely butcher the original one then yeah. i think then i think you're okay as long as you kind of build on it or try to you know present a fresh take on that i think that's one thing that i think is really good but um in terms of the the sort of films that we're seeing nowadays you know remakes have not been doing that well at the box office as well um so do you kind of feel as much as there is a push for fresh content um uh, in cinema do you feel like there's that sense of added pressure now jigger in in terms of us composers of making sure you really uh create avant-garde and really pushing it out of the box sort of music do you feel that pressure now as well okay so first things first uh, like like uh, you i am not someone who hates remakes but i think sachin and me are not the right people to do remakes uh we kind of maybe don't know the art that well uh, it is a art and it needs to be perceived and and executed in a certain way uh, so i don't think we are the right boys to do that first um, street dancer we did one remake which has now crossed some 1000 million some i don't know it was a uh, guru randava song uh, lag di lahor diya yeah. yeah other than that all the other remakes i think we, we didn't do they were done by uh, uh, various other people including uh, like mukabla was, was done Post. by tanish and uh, another so so we did one song there and then we did one more remake for ruhi which was uh, nadio par nadio par oh yeah oh, so <laughs> but i think i think that was a uh, that was a point where uh, you know every time we did a remake we questioned ourselves why and then uh, we had an answer to it say, saying okay now that is the trend and we cannot ignore it you know we have to give our producer the worth of the money and the faith he's putting on us at that point of time no matter how much you push a original song wasn't wasn't coming into limelight for, for various reasons which we don't know right but i think with this changing trend sachin and me are more and more glad you know because i think that is what we are here for to make original music to make music yeah. that that otherwise why are we here i mean we could have easily done a accounting job you know we are here to make music we are here to make music for the film and i am glad that we have this added pressure to prove ourselves and to prove that original music can uh you know the the trend can come back the whole cycle of creating an original album can come back and i think with bhedia uh, we've tried to live up to that pressure because bhedia was our first big release post covid mm is our first uh, for you know first big release post covid and uh, we had we had for the two of us told ourselves that all the songs in this album we're going to make sure that it has something for everyone you know so starting from thumkeshwari to uh, jangal mein kaand ho gaya to arijit singh we got for uh, apna bana le and today we released the last song of the album which is called uh, baki sab theek huh. which is a great <laughs> hit song yeah so i think this is the challenge we we've taken up and we are very very happy to take it up again and again and again and uh, we might go wrong a few times but we'll go right more often i guess no definitely yeah, i guess i guess uh, somebody's got to make uh... original stuff so that 10 years later somebody can recreate it 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Yes, definitely. And I think, um, but, you know, it's wonderful because I was listening to Apna Banale and, you know, I must say it's such a, it's one of my favorite love songs of this year, actually. And I don't know, I, there was something, I think Apna Banale, like the main chorus for that you guys had in that, it really reminded me of Saibo uh, from <laughs> Shore in the City. I mean, was that a conscious decision? Like, you know, sometimes, do you also feel nostalgic even whilst creating your own music? You are so right. It wasn't a conscious decision, but when we made that, we got reminded of Saibo itself. Like that oh, same yeah. feeling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. brilliant. That's amazing. Oh, that's really good. And, you know, actually, Jigar, I wanted to really touch on what you have just said about the producers and, you know, them green lighting you and giving that whole thing. In fact, Sachin, I wanted to pose this question to you, actually, because, you know, um, I recently did a director's roundtable and I think it's it was very interesting to know how much directors are always very uh, true to their vision you know, despite the brief that they get from producers, because obviously there's often a compromise that one has to come to, to ensure that you give the producers what they want, but then also make sure your voice is heard. Uh, how do you maintain that, such? And What do you think is the right balance for you as composers to ensure that you meet that middle ground? Yeah, so, like I, like I was telling you before, there was a time when the producer would sell the music he made for a lot of bucks, he would make a lot of dough there. And it was almost like, uh, he, you know, that film sold uh, the music to such and such an album, such and such label for so much money, etc. That's all gone out of the window. Music's now your primary promotional tool, right? So producers also using the music as almost like a promotional thing where he's saying, okay, listen, this is the vibe of my film. If the film has to do the box office sort of a impression, then the song's going to warm it up for the audience. So there's a there's a definite function now for us as music composers. First, is mm. to create that sort of a mahal for the film, you know, for mm. the for the film to uh, be relevant, for the film to excite the audiences, for the for the film to compel the audiences to come to the theater. Music plays a very big role now. I mean, it's not just um, songs of a film. It's, it's almost almost like a di dialogue trailer, I could say, almost to that extent. Because songs are going to extend the characters, the vibe of the film, etc. And uh, what we really try to do is we try to dig there. Instead of trying to dig into what do the producers say, what do the directors say, what do the actors say, because everybody's got to say. <laughs> so, you know, instead of, <laughs> so instead of feeling the heat and feeling the pressure of the challenge, idea would be to be able to crack something that holds true for the film and what, what we want to communicate as a, as a team of makers. At the same time, what could perhaps be a popular nerve that we can sort of associate with the promotion of such a film. So, uh -huh. for example, the song that came out today for Bhedia, which is called Baki Sapti. Yeah. Now, primary part of the film storytelling in, includes three characters as friends. Yeah. And how could we as makers not make a song for these friends and their long journey? And what mm -hmm. do friends do? They get into a car and go for a road trip. And how as Sachin Jiga we cannot, how do we not make a song for that is what we think. And so if you, if you put both together, that's how you answer the question really. And suddenly now you put into perspective like a completely new uh, you know, angle to the whole thing. Like you are now giving a road trip song to your audiences. So, of course, it's a road trip song for the audiences, for the fans. But hey, it's from the film media. That's right. how you marry these things. Yeah. yeah. And also, I think it reminded me of Baba Ji Ki Booty also. Oh, <laughs> you know, the dialogue Absolutely. that you guys were having as well. Again, so it kind of just goes back to that nostalgic. But look, I think we are running a bit short on time. So I think uh, my last question is, because I know you've got... Uh, Govinda Naam Mera coming up. And I spoke to Shashank actually just essay. He, we were just having a conversation and I think he's very excited uh, about this, about the music that you both have created for that. So again, uh, it's a very quirky film. It's a very such a Jigar film. I think we can, we can, we can definitely mention that I think from this conversation. So Jigar, what were some of your um, challenges and uh, 
moments of creating music for for that and how do you think it will resonate with audiences right so sashank and we go very long way his first film was the film we composed for and i think it's a complete circle back to us um sashank ha- had actually already done the music uh, for the film uh, before he met us because we were bu- busy doing something else by then mm-hmm. but at that point uh, he told us that there has to be one song that you guys come in as guest composers and do but this film needs one song so so the, our role here actually is of that of a friend uh, sashank is a very dear friend and this is specially done for him we don't do one songs generally one song generally but uh, <laughs> yes he's a very dear friend and we've done this song and it's going to be the song that comes out first it's called uh, hai re meri bijli and he shot it in such a fun way and this film is a very very uh, quirky film i must say so so um uh, so besides that actually besides that we have uh, two more gujarati films lined up one of our gujarati film just released last week om mangalam singalam oh yes yes and um, we have two web shows coming up we have three more films coming up next year so three more hindi yes and yes we are a part of this uh, lovely web show called uh, uh farzi by rajan dk Oh wow! Oh yeah. And yes. one show that Homi Adajani is making, another show with Amazon. So, uh, lots of music coming your way, and I hope that we connect soon on the other stuff with uh, lots more excitement and music. Well, that sounds just as exciting, and I think it was such a blast to have a chat with both of you. And I think you guys are making us very proud. And keep up the amazing work, and wishing you all the very best for Bhedia, and of course all the wonderful upcoming projects that you shared with us. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank, Thank you. you.